Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. First up, an incredibly stupid Karen, seemingly fueled by some questionable concoction of something, decides to unleash her dumb Karenism at a movie theater concession stand. Despite the staff politely requesting her not to skip the line and exit stage left, she digs in her heels like a toddler crying for a blankie. Naturally, the police were called to the scene to give Karen a tour of the mall's exit. But this dumb Karen has other plans and cranks up the drama to epic levels. Here's how that foolish strategy worked out for this highly dumb Karen. Two guests, one of the guests from the orange dress at concession. Okay. Um, we think that she's on drunk or on or something. Okay. Um, she skipped the line and we asked her to go back in line and wait for the else. For the concession? Yeah, and okay. then she started to grab the POS and sort of like shaking it. One of our okay. Do you want her out? Yes. Okay. Um, Do you want her off mall property? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You want her banned? Yeah. Right. Okay. This one. This lady right here. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. How are you? I'm Officer Gray with Promise Police Department. You got to come outside with me, okay? Yeah. They they want you to leave uh, the property. You okay? You all right? Your, your eyes are a little loopy. How are your eyes? My eyes are fine. Is this how you normally are? You been, yes. been having anything to drink tonight? I'm looking in your eyes directly. Okay. And then I'm asking you, do you have anything to drink tonight? No. Okay. All right, so we have to uh, leave the property right now, okay? I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this is how it's going to go, right? I asked you twice now to leave, right? Right. You are being banned from the Garden State Plaza. If you don't leave, we're going to arrest you. Okay? So I'm going to give you one more shot. I'll give you 10 seconds to, to walk out with us, okay, so or you're going to get arrested. It's okay? a ban from the okay. okay, here he is right now. So you want to you want to turn him up? Let me call my husband. No, nope. turn He's him up. He's a police officer. Okay, call him. I would Let love to talk. Him. I would love to talk to him right Let's now. I would love to talk to him. See here. Don't worry about that. Please back up. Okay. I'm not backing up. Ma'am, ma'am, look at him. He's going to ban you. Okay. And uh, we're. Can one of you guys come over here? Yeah. All right. You don't even know his phone number. No. How about you okay. get the, get away from okay, me? Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Right. You want to get banned? I don't. Here. I, here I, is I pray Plaza. to God. I don't want right, to so argue say, with you. Just say it out loud to her. And then you I want don't want to argue right? with you. All right. So just just how look about her you guys her. back away from me? I call who I have to so, call. Just, just tell her. Call you her. do your business. Yes. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, please okay. get away from Man, me. Can, no. Can you, you get away from me because you said he doesn't know who to call. No, Back no, away. You said you're no. calling your husband. You don't okay. know who to call. Stop, oh, God. Stop, stop, Lord, stop, stop, give stop. me the... You're not your hands in my face. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Just stop resisting. Just stop. Please, I can't breathe. I'm a I can't breathe. Stand up, stand up. Come on. Stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Come on. There you go. Come on. 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 Stand up. Stand up. Please, sir. Please, sir, don't touch me. Let's go. Stand up. No, don't okay. touch me. Call whoever you got to call. I'm not calling anyone. Call whoever the you got to call. I got my radio. Okay. Call them. You don't want to stand up? No. Well, you're going to get up. I won't. Okay, we'll just drag you out of here. That's it's by me. Call whoever the you got to call. I don't have to call anybody. You do, but well, I just told you, you have my call. radio. Yeah, call yeah. who you got to call. It's all right. You're already under arrest. Whatever you got to call, call. You put your hands on me. 
Yeah? You don't that's know what's who gonna the happen. I know. Okay, that's You don't nice. know who the Call your know. husband. No, I will throw whoever the Thank I'm you. Call. Don't put your hands on that's me. That's that's me. That's don't that's put your that's hands that's on that's me. That's Who are all the charges you got to call? Do not put your hands on me. Man, stop. Do not put your Stop. Don't put your hands on me. And you kicked out of stop. Get the f off me. Get the f off stop. me. And stop. Get the f off me. Stop. I don't give a f what color I am. I'm black, I'm brown, I'm purple. Get the f off me. As as get the f off me. Man, calm down and we'll get, no, we'll get you up. Let me go. Let me f go. Do you see how you're acting? Do you stop. see how you acting? Ma'am, are you on something right stop. now? Stop. Your mother wants something. Get the uh, off me, okay? Trayvon Martin, my I'm well educated. I have four degrees. You will never make me feel no type of way. Get the off me, my Get the off me. You too. Get Stop. The uh, get off me. Stop you kicking. Stop kicking. You hurting my arm. Cause look how you're acting. I know how to make my arm feel better. Get off my arm! Get off my arm! You're not gonna spit at us. You hear I'm me? I'm not gonna spit. Yeah, you, you, did. you did already. I was never gonna do that. You did. You, did. you just spit at me. You! I'm talking to you. Relax. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me ever in your life. I don't with y'all. Okay, get the off me, my. I wish the. You know how many degrees I got. Get the off me because you don't know who the you. Can you calm down? Not your business. Just spit on me. You talking to? Can you just? No, leave me alone. Don't say sit to me. I guess she's reeks of it. Yeah, I saw it. Who reeks of alcohol? Mother, you see your belly? You reek of alcohol. Get the fuck out my face. I wouldn't face. be talking. Yeah, whatever. Your mother. Oh, here we go. Get the fuck out my face. Stand on the floor. You keep screwing. Move. Me. Move, Karanski. Move. Stand stay where you are. Move. It don't matter. It don't matter. Nothing that you got going on. But let me tell y'all. Ma'am, why are you standing? What are you doing? We said sit. We said sit. Why do you keep rolling? Don't touch me. That man means so much okay, to don't me. Kick me. You don't know what the f*** that means. Be another... You probably join this mother police force just to do it for benefits. Mother, you know what the f*** means for a mother going to watch you? Okay. You know what the f*** that means? Okay. You don't. You don't. You. Okay. It don't matter. Whatever you don't got to drag me out nowhere. Because I'm a nurse. I need this oh. from the bottom of my mother heart. You don't know I came from mother Patterson. When it comes from mother education, that's something we need, my You don't know what the we do. Man, man. No, sir. Man, man. You don't know what the man. we mean. I no, man. no. You don't give a You don't give a Ma'am, what's your name? What's your name? Matt, what's your name? Your officer program is Patterson. Ma'am, just tell me. Police. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma what's your name? What's your name? Emergency. Department. Okay. Has she spit yet? Yeah, she spit on it. I didn't spit on nobody. I swear to God, I got to spit on nobody. Listen, we're going to walk out. What's your name? Please don't spit me. Are you going to spit anymore? Are you going to spit anymore? Get the f*** off. I never spit. You spit on me. I don't want you to get the f*** off my head. Okay, then we're going to it's the North PD. Okay, stand up. 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 Stand 
She kicked us probably at least five times. Who else did she kick? You and who else? Me and Casey. All right, so yeah. Like she, but it's trespass, uh, fine trespassing because she, she wouldn't leave. Resisting, disorderly. Disorderly, aggravated assault. Three counts aggravated assault. Two for kicks. Yeah, she spit, spit, spit on a me. A bite? Yeah. Yeah, like four. Yeah. yeah. All right, so how about let them deal with that guy and let yeah. us three go in. You three go with her. I'm going to go see the deal with that yeah. guy. Somebody ride, ride the ring. Considering Karen's choice to skip pants on movie night, I'm forever grateful for the magic of the video blur tool. However, a nurse who resorts to biting, delivering kicks to delicate zones, and practicing her spitting skills on others might want to rethink her career path in nursing. Nevertheless, this incredibly dumb Karen was charged with disorderly intoxication, assault on an officer, and resisting arrest. Coming up, the police had to deal with yet another dumb Karen situation in the Garden State. After being warned for stirring up trouble at her ex's restaurant, she decided to ignore the warning and attempted to break into his car. Needless to say, the officers gave this incredibly stupid Karen a memorable lesson that even a dumb Karen like her won't soon forget. The officers found themselves in a predicament trying to chat with this dumb Karen, who couldn't really speak English. However, with some help from the owners, they managed to communicate that she had earned herself a one-way ticket off the premises. Nevertheless, this drunk Karen wasn't ready to make her grand exit just yet. She insisted on having a heart-to-heart -heart with her boyfriend, who was busy working his magic on the back patio. In fact, Karen wore her red short shorts, thinking that they were his favorite, but he just told her that he liked them to get her off of his back. He actually thinks that they look like a big red diaper. After yet another flop at gaining access, this Karen strolls off, only to be nabbed by officers seven minutes later as she attempts to sneak back into the restaurant through the rear patio, right where her ex-boyfriend 
is on duty. No, but it's there. You leaving? Okay. Ay, adios. Buena suerte. Maldita. Ese hombre es mi marido. Perra. No más eso te digo. Es todo lo que digo. Can I give you a ride? No. Es mi marido, perra. Where do you live? Perra. ¿Dónde vive? Perra. No tienes nada que ver ahí. Señora, ¿dónde vive? ¿Ah? Hey, 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 hi. Right. All right. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Por favor, no me tampoco. Hey. Okay, déjame. 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 You try to break into somebody. Okay, déjame, mi hija. Déjame, pues. No, 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 no. Cálmate, señor. Déjame. Maldito negro, tú me estás haciendo respeto a mí. Por favor, déjame. 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 Por favor, déjame. Try to break into all this stuff. Oh, that's gonna be easy. Okay. Ay, perro. Déjame, por favor. Déjame, yo me brinco sola. No. No me voy a mentar, maldito. Okay, no me voy a. No me voy a mentar. No. Cierra esa perra. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Me los van a demandar, desgraciado. Mucho. Once Karen's in custody, the cops have a little chat with the ex-boyfriend's buddy to give him a sneak peek at the chaos that she caused before they pack her off for her glamorous mugshot session. She hit it here, buddy. Yeah, she didn't break it. They break it. They did. Where? They break it. Right? No, she was hitting it here. Where they break it? Break it. How do you know? Was was it like that before or no? No, no it's, not. it's not. before. It wasn't no. like that. No. You know the truck? I know my friend. All right, call your friend. Have your friend come to the to the station. Sure. Whoever the boyfriend or. I will. I will. Yeah, like right now, because we need to confirm that. Because I saw her, she was hitting it here. She wasn't hitting it there though. Yeah. They, All right. She did. She did. She did that as well. Yeah. So I didn't see her do that. She was yeah. hitting here with her phone. So that's why I like tried to detain her. So I, I, I appreciate it, man. I swear. I'm sorry. Yeah, have your uh, yeah have your friend come to. Uh, come I'm, to I'm gonna I'm gonna tell. Because we're gonna have to release her to somebody. Yeah. All right. I Do will. you know her family, man? I don't know. Yeah. You don't know her family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Do la, do la, do la Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm good. I got you, all Stephen. Okay. Yeah, she she assault my officer, so that's you know drunk. I was. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I was trying to yeah. uh, you know calm her she down. We her out. Yeah. She tried to go back in. I got the body arm. We her out. And we're like, no. She's like, and I was like, I'll do that. So she shot me twice. She, yeah, next. So I let her slide. She, she, nah, nah. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. I keep that oh, chunk. Sí, 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 sí. Por favor, desátame, porque... Sí, no, 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 no,
No, no. Can you explain Whatever. to to? I explain no, about the warrant. No, no, yeah, no. so make make sure okay. she goes to court, okay? Yeah, make sure she goes. to my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. Okay, no problem. She don't want us to talk to her daughter. Yeah. Her daughter is a juvenile. Yeah, just let him know. Anyway, the way they must do it. She's gonna get another. She's gonna get another one. Okay. 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 This is for him. No. no, no, this is for him. Yeah, for his receipt. That's mine. No, he paid the money. That's for him. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Um, we there there is a. There is complaint expense and we're doing a complaint. We're gonna come and give it, give it to her overnight tonight. So she's, she's getting charged for breaking the car, breaking the window. Okay. All right, we'll come, we'll come drop it off. We just want want her to get her out of here. Go get some. Go home, okay? Go get some sleep. All right. Thank you, sir. Gracias. Thank you. 
I really can't understand why this dumb Karen is fighting so hard to talk to a guy who is clearly done with her. Have some dignity, lady. Also, did we just watch Karen waltz out of the police station after assaulting multiple officers and vandalizing a vehicle? No wonder why she thinks that Karening pays. Anyway, this incredibly dumb Karen was fortunately charged with criminal trespassing, two counts of assault on an officer, resisting arrest, and disorderly intoxication. Standing outside crying, outside crying, barefooted. Yeah. And I really had to use the bathroom. What's what, 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 going on? Breathe. I didn't realize it was. I, I didn't, didn't get it. Coming up, we delve into a baffling scenario in which a four year old was discovered solo in a Walmart parking lot, while his mom, an extremely dumb Karen, was busy shopping or was it shoplifting? I can't remember. Either way, the deputies are on the case chatting with both Karen and her teenage daughter. Karen insists she just popped into the restroom for under five minutes. However, the surveillance footage tells a different tale. Karen was actually inside for over 24 minutes and nowhere near the bathroom. I wonder what she was up to. Let's watch and find out. He has not been. You can check the time. I literally, I literally ran in there and ran out. What's his name? Carter. Carter? Yeah. Carter. I, and I had to go to the bathroom really bad. He was sleeping, so I just ran in there. You, you. It's really, you have fire rescue. Carter. Hi. 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 Your kid? Yes. Okay. I had and I really had to use the bathroom. So he was sleeping and I just ran in there. Huh? Uh, you called, what, I called about 10, 10, minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? And that was right yeah, when we saw him. Yeah, 3 off the 9-9 going to tag. He was just standing there. I just really had to go to the bathroom. And you can look it up on my hospital record that I've taken in and out of the hospital having surgery. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. you guys have cameras this far out? It's going to be hard. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll you definitely try. See, mm -hmm. see, see how long? time she came in? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So when you pulled up and he parked, he was in the middle of the road, did you go up to him? And we Yeah, we stopped there. They're like, what's going on? And he okay. just kept saying, I want my mommy. Where's my mommy? I when want my mommy. She just got here. So she just like got you here. guys, like literally you guys pulled up and she walked. Yeah. Right there. Do you have your ID? Yeah. My other 13 year old is in the bathroom. Can I go inside with him? One okay. second. Your 13 year old's in the bathroom? Yeah, she was with she ran with me to the bathroom. Okay. She's, she's can I please go get her? Hold on one second. I'm gonna have hey, there's a 13 year old in there too. She came with me to the bathroom. So you said you called right away, or I, you waited? We waited, well, maybe like two minutes, because we were talking to him. Okay. And then the guy over there saw that as well. We walked over to him at the same time, and then they just went out there. Uh, they got him a drink, and then they got him a toy, so we could just trying to see if um, Walmart can get me There's a 13-year-old in there, too. What? Her 13-year-old went with her to the bathroom. we got to look for a 13-year-old. We should probably do that right now. Uh, Come on. That's it, another. Hey, so, was it, so were you in the car with your brother? I was going in the mom's bathroom. Okay, where was your mom at? So you guys both went into the bathroom? Yeah, I don't like going by myself and stuff inside places like that, so I asked her to come with me. Okay. How long ago did you guys go to the bathroom? Not too long ago. Okay. And you left your little brother by himself in the car? Um, I thought it would be fine since he's sleeping. You can't leave the car unattended with him in there. It's hot. Where do you guys live? 
Um, I'm not really living with my mom. I was just here hanging out with her for the weekend. Oh, okay. You live with your dad? Yes. Where do, where do you live? In Riviera. Riviera Beach with your dad? Yes. Okay. Where does your mom stay at? Um, at a hotel right now. Okay. And then your brother, does stay, would your brother stays with you too at your dad's? No, he stays with my mother. Okay. Watch out. Okay. Okay. So, you guys came here to go to the bathroom? Yes, that's it. Okay, where were you guys before here? Excuse me? Where were you guys before here? At the hotel. Gotcha. So, you, do you know where the hotel is? Uh, no, no. Okay, so you guys were driving around and you said you needed to go to the bathroom? Yes. And you came up here to Walmart? Yes. Gotcha. And she went with you to the bathroom? Yes, mm -hmm. like going into like, how to place the place and bomb myself. Yeah. So, do you remember like at what time you guys went into the store? Um, I don't even check that. Okay. So, like, how long do you think you were in there? Not too long. Like five minutes, two minutes, three oh, minutes? Oh, just five minutes. Ten minutes? Just five minutes, probably. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, it's pretty hot. And you guys left him with the car off and everything. Like, he woke up and he was looking for you guys. We should go below. Because we have... And, and he's not allowed, and he's an addict, and he's, he's going to prison, so he's not around, and all my son has it. Alright, so, um, so you are the only person that has permission to deal with your son, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, he's like, you're not taking he's, it from me, right? I'm not taking it. Okay, and I do. Oh. I'm really, I mean, like, thought about it, I told Chris, because he drove that so I said, I like this. He's like, if you, if you trust him, your ex, or whatever. I don't want anybody to take the kid. I just want to make sure you guys were calling DCF to take them after that. Because I wasn't sure if that I was... I have to call DCF to do it. I don't care about that. I don't care but, about that. I just didn't yeah. know if this was considered a safe way you take them because I left them in the car. I, I, I'm not... If you want to turn them over to the father that you trust and you're the sole person that has custody, I, yeah, why not? I, no, I just was saying for now because I wasn't sure if you guys were going to be like, you can't have your kids when you left them in the car. I think you need a break. I think you need a, a mental break right now, whatever you got going on. I think maybe just working on yourself is probably the best thing. And I have it in the and, and I like, no, like I said, no, that is, I'm so stupid. Like, I would have never done this. Like, I know I have a 13 year old. I've never been in trouble before. You know what I mean? Like, that's the whole reason she went with it because I need mm -hmm. some time to fix myself. I mean, it was a bad decision. I'm not going to lie about that. It was. I mean, I feel bad for them because they're the ones that pay the price of it, not me. And now they see all this and they're like, oh my god, my mom is so bad, you know? And, and regardless, we all make mistakes. But I feel bad when I expect this. I do feel good. I'm sorry. Are you guys married or are you just We're just best friends. friends. Like, I had, okay, I had her when I was 22. Okay. And, and then he and I just realized we were better friends. We okay. always remained best friends. Sometimes. And then I got married to the worst person in the world. Okay. And through that, he's been amazingly a great friend. Okay. <laughs> so, so you trust him with your son as well? Yeah, okay. with everybody. Good. I trust him with my life. Okay, that's good to know. All right. <laughs> no, him and my adopted mom are the only two people I trust. Okay, so if he comes here and takes the kids, that's probably best for you because you need time to, like, relax, mentally, I physically. I him to come, but I didn't know if he... My thing was that I didn't know... <laughs> Okay. I didn't know if Good. this was considered like you're not a fit mom and taking them or not. Well, we're looking, we have to look at all aspects, right? Yeah. So right now we're checking cameras for Walmart. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, we're checking stuff. We have to yeah. part of our job. Yeah. So if we see fit that the time was 15 minutes or more that you were in that store, then you're going to jail. Simple. I've never it been sucks, in jail. But, you know, you also get your, your time to represent yourself, okay? As of right now, we have information, but nothing's secure right now. Mm -hmm. So we have to do a full we investigation. We have come here just in case you guys arrest me. I know that I was in yeah, there. For, I was less than 15 minutes, but, but I'm... Listen, even if I don't arrest you, you still need... You <laughs> basically look like you need, you need a break. Okay. Yeah. Maybe let's put the phone over. Yeah, call him up. Buddy. I'm... Okay, listen. I'm, I can't breathe. I'm sorry. I'm... Look at me. Take a, take, take a breath for a second, okay? I'm trying to do Catch a bubble. Catch, catch a bubble, right? Look. 
Tell this to the kids. Blow it out. <laughs> I'm Blow it out. <laughs> I'm trying the best I can with all the cards I've been dealt. It's been really stressful. Well, God don't give you what you can't handle. Okay? It's no, it's really stressful, like dealing with somebody that you're so scared of, and they find you everywhere you go. <laughs> You're good right now, okay? Just, this makes me really scared. No one said you're arrested. Okay. No, I'm just saying in general. Like, <laughs> you, you gotta stop what I think. You gotta just deal with what we're dealing with right now. The main thing right now is you catch your breath because you're gonna have an anxiety attack. I know. Okay? We, we control that ourselves, okay? I know. Look at me. Look at me. Blow out a little bit of air. Get in. I have to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> What's your name? Heather Austin. Okay. Um, I require you to warn you before you make any statements that you have the following constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent and answer not any questions. Any statements you make must be freely and voluntarily given. You have the right and presence of representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statements during any questionings. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you are entitled to the presence and representation of a court-appointed lawyer before you make any statements and during any questionings. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you are privileged to remain silent. I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. This must be of your own free will. Any statements can be and will be used to you against you in a court of law. Do you understand these rights that I have read to you? Yes. With those rights in mind, are you choosing to speak to us with me? Yes. Okay. So tell me again why you came here. So I had to use the bathroom. Okay. When we were in the bathroom, okay. my daughter was like, wanted to grab, she went to grab a baby while I was in the bathroom. Okay. I ran out to look for her. Okay. Um, when I grabbed her, I said, we have to, you, you could probably hear it if you listen to the audio. We gotta go, we gotta go. We ran back out here, and I saw you guys all around the car. Okay. And that's really it. So you came here just to go to the bathroom? Literally just to go to the bathroom. Okay. And then you went with your daughter? But yeah, my daughter came with, 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 sorry. And how long do you think you spent in the store? Like five minutes. Five minutes? Literally five minutes. Okay. And you left the car? It was running. The car was running? Yes. With the keys inside? No, no, no I don't I don't remember now. I don't remember. Okay, but the kid was in there. But the yeah, the window. The down. windows were up. No, the windows were down. The windows were down? Yes. Well the windows were all up when we That came window's hundred percent down. Which one? The one with the blanket? That blanket was, was not if you was not there when I went in there. The blanket, the window was open. The blanket was not like that one when when I left him it was open. Okay. But you still left the child unattended I did in this weather. I, I did just... oh. Right? I... <laughs> what's your, what's going on? <laughs> Breathe. I didn't realize it was I, I didn't think and I I'm stupid. I'm so I can't. <laughs> I really, I really didn't think it. I'm just, re I'm really breathe. Sorry. Fire rescue is right here, and I don't want you to to take you. Okay, just breathe. Can I have? A, okay, just breathe. I really didn't, really didn't think, and it's stupid. It's so fucking stupid, and I'm a fucking idiot. And I didn't okay. think. All right. Right now, you're being placed under arrest. But for shoplifting? I didn't shoplift anything. Yes, you did. You what passed is... all points of sale with what? that basket. I didn't mean to leave. You left that dog. You left your daughter inside because you were going to come get your car. Come on. No, I wasn't. Can you Put call your my hands. mom and tell her to bail me out right away? Put your hands like if you were praying. Come on. It'll be easier. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Stop. 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 Please. I'm not. Please. Don't hurt me. Do Listen. Not stop. I'm not resisting. Because it will hurt. Stop. Okay. Do not resist. I can't breathe. Okay, look at We have fire rescue here. You're talking, right? You're breathing. You're talking. Just focus on that. You're Call talking. Call my mom now. You're breathing. You're talking. You're breathing. Right. Wait, can you take my jacket? I will. No, I don't want to take it off. Then don't take it off. Can I talk to you? You had to take Carter. You had to take it. Is that called talk mode? Tell him to get him. Okay. 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 I, don't I don't have anything. I don't have anything wrong on me. Come on. Put your hands like a viewer frame. That way I can take. Listen, you want these to be comfortable, you want them to hurt. I, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I've never done this look before. Me, look at me, look at me, look at me, focus, focus. Put your hands like this backwards, that's all. That's all, like this. We're putting handcuffs on you, okay? It's okay, breathe. Breathe, see? You're fine. Oh, it is. 
am I allowed? Is DCF gonna take my kids in? You know what I'm saying? After that, I could get them back as soon as I get out. Whoever has. Sorry, I thought you were in trouble. Let's leave this right. So you have to ask them. And you're, you're giving them permission. Look you have at me. to take look at me. Two. Look at me. I don't huh? want to get out. I hey, can get. He's in. not law enforcement. Look at me. I'm trying to explain it to you. Okay? I can't breathe. So you can. You're I did not mean to stop with anything either. Okay. Fire rescue is here. If you want them to do a check out, listen. You pass out points of sale. Okay, I didn't mean to. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. You pass out points of sale. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. Do you want to rescue to check your vital signs? No, I didn't know, I didn't okay. know, I didn't know. <laughs> if you mind just grabbing your, your battery pack. Okay. I didn't know. I, I didn't know, I didn't know, I swear I didn't know. Okay. <sighs> I didn't know, I swear I didn't know. All I'm right, scared. Right, the I never... All you gotta do is <laughs> I don't know what... take a seat. I don't want to go to jail, I've never been to jail. <laughs> I've never been to jail, I'm scared. <laughs> in there. Okay, come on. Came here. The son was sleeping. She left him in the car. The car was not running. Okay, she had keys for that. Okay, so kids die. Heat's usually 15 to 20 degrees hotter in a car, but nothing. Except people basically cook from the inside. Yeah. She can't get out. Well, he eventually got out. Was found literally right there by strangers. Okay, but she left him unattended. Okay. He got out and by himself as child and left. Okay. Number two, she was in there while they were trying to review the cameras to check out um, how long she was left with the child. She was in there for 24 minutes. That's not five minutes that she's spilling everybody else. Okay. Camera show. She was in there collecting stuff, stuffing stuff, trying to steal it, walk out, put your daughter by the front door, tell her to stand there and wait, but she can go get the car to go pick up the stuff she's trying to depot. So, in the commission of a crime, she creates another. So that's where we're at. So DCF will be notified. Okay, they might come to your address. Whatever they do, they do. They're going to offer you guys services. If you have a legal guardian who's taking care of a child, they're not in an active jail all the time. They're not on. You're really trying to. You're trying to. We're not trying. DCF doesn't have to take the kids away. Okay, they try to make it safe for the kids. That's it. So if you need help, you need money, you need assistance, take it and be honest about it because the money is there and that's what they do. But this child neglect and then trying to teach your daughter how to steal, I understand hard times, but no excuse. Oh. No excuse. I, I, I want to be a little nosy. What, what's going to be hard times? For mom, neglect and, and uh, neglect. And then we're gonna, she's obviously, I don't know if she... Actually, yeah, she did walk past all points of sale, so it's going to be uh, shoplifting. If it's anything over $900, I guess, or whatever it's going to be. It's going to be shoplifting or, or petty theft, and then it's going to be felony of uh, neglect. It's a felony. So she, she not going to have a bond? She's probably, I, she may or may not. That I can't answer. I don't work in jail. I only put them in. I don't I don't watch them. I don't know all the other books. So I have no clue. Can we ask her before I take off in this car if there's anything I need to know about? If it has gas, I don't drive it. If it's got drugs. Yeah, then, that then too. Then you get pulled, it's on you. That's, that too. That too. So that's, whoever's in possession is in possession. That too. That too, okay. man. That too. Because if that's the case, are you, screw the cat. 
Because I got A license. My, I'm a straight okay. arrow okay. guy. Chris, I, are you good right now? You, you're good license? Oh, heck yeah. CDL? You don't need yeah, more yeah. time? No. I have to run you just before I let you off my kids. Yeah. All right, hang tight. Yeah, I'm good. He's got a question. He wants to know if the car's got any compression mm -hmm. or for him. Absolutely not. Okay, because he's going to take the car and the cat. I swear to God, there's nothing wrong. I'm, 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 I'm not going to be legal. Not, I swear to my life. Because if he drives, he gets caught. Then I swear to God on everything, there's nothing in there that's bad. Period. Okay. All right. Where well, you want me to park the car? I don't want it at my house. I'm taking the car only because his wife is allergic to the cat, and i got to take the cat. Okay. I don't want the car at my house. Last point of sale. Our, our, uh, no. Okay. Our point of sale, even though it's past the registers, it's not past the actual point that where we can stop them. So she didn't. Okay. Okay. We'll definitely let her know then. All right. Cool. But so I'm going to still send you the link yeah, for the fine. video. Yeah. And still give me the receipt. Yeah, yeah. We're going to type up. That was our intent. In the commissioner. Okay. 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 Definitely. All right. All right. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. But you do understand that once you pass all the cash registers, I that's know, considered that's stealing, right? Yeah, I was trying to tell her she had to be Okay, so that's why your mom is going to jail for today. She's going to jail because she pretty much took that out of the store without paying for it and for leaving your brother unattended in the car because you guys can't leave your brother. And you guys were in there for more than five minutes. I was in jail. You guys were in there for 24 minutes. If he would have stayed in the car, he could have probably died. If he didn't come out, he could have probably died. So you can't just leave any, you can't leave a kid in the car, okay? Because it's hot. Okay? But your mom is going to be okay. She's probably going to come out and later on just talk to you. Karen's outfit alone is a felonious assault on the eyeballs of the general public. Nevertheless, she was only charged with felony child neglect. Fast forward to April 23rd of 2024, when the drama dialed down a notch when Karen's case was demoted to misdemeanor domestic child neglect. The curtain fell on that saga as long as she promised to follow a DCF plan. But fast forward again to July 2nd of 2024, and this incredibly stupid Karen just couldn't resist the allure of Walmart's treasures, allegedly swiping goods worth $100 to $750 and earning herself another set of shiny bracelets. And she was arrested for petty theft. Come August 8th, she decided court dates are like optional pop quizzes and totally skipped it. Currently, there's a warrant for this dumb Karen's arrest. You have your ID on you? Yes, I do. All right, let me get that. ID, please. Your name, please, your badge number. Like, I am doing literally Deputy nothing McCann, wrong. On January 9th of 2024, the police received an urgent call to evict a dumb Karen from her impromptu nap spot, a truck parked on private property at a business location. Apparently, this incredibly stupid Karen thought she'd found the perfect place for a siesta, but based on what we're about to watch, I think she may have miscalculated. How are you, sir? Is this your truck? Oh. Are you with them? Uh. Okay, so I guess the, the people who own this, this building here, they're they don't want anyone on the property because it's certainly in the sale. So they want me to trespass anyone who's still on the property. So oh, I'm leaving on the 17th back to Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm just waiting to get the hell out of here. Okay. Forty-nine, St. John's. Six South, quarter, 1020. Charlie Foxtrot, 72, Lima Alpha, uh, Black GMC, 20. Yeah, just don't be back on the property. How long, how long has she been like this? Has she moved at all? Oh, no, she moved, yes. I walked back and she was... I just said that a minute I was on the beach and showed my family. Yeah. Hey, you're good. Where's 
that a whiskey fox trap. Okay, we'll go ahead and run her. Can't tell if she's passed out or sleeping behind the wheel, but she's breathing. So I'll have us in just a second. I'm going to wake her up now. Hello? You okay? Hey. You okay? Yes, I'm like, sorry, I don't even know how to do but I don't know, and, and also, like, I'm not even... Good. What's going on? So, what are, you, what, what are you doing on the property here? I'm really just chilling, like, it's not... Yeah, so the people that own the property here that are managing it, they don't want anyone on the property. You're, you're parked on the property. Um, and they want you off the property. And then when I walked up here, you were... Yeah, and anyone who's on the property. But yes, you specifically in the truck. Do you have ID on you? Um, I guess, like, um, that's our water problem, like, right Trespassing. You're on, on private property, and they want to yeah. No, no, this is public property? Like, no, you're literally on the property of this restaurant right here. And then if you're trying to say you're on public property, then, like, the roadway, then you're stopped in the middle of a roadway. Oh, no. Okay. Well, either way, it's lose-lose. Do you have your ID on you? Yes, I do. All right, let me get that. ID, please. Your name, please. Your badge number. Like I am doing literally Deputy nothing McCain, wrong. Deputy McCain, Saint Thomas Parish, Arizona. Okay, my keys in my fucking like what the fuck is the problem for real? Okay, so first of all, I'm making contact with you because you're trespassing on private property. Hell, no. Second of all, no, you're passed out no behind the wheel. There ain't no. You got open containers of beer. I can smell the odor. My of keys are in my ignition. Up. Like keys oh, don't have to be in the ignition. Bro, like you. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you have your ID on you? Multiple times I have said yes. What the f am I charged Give with? Give me your driver's license. Give me your ID. Uh, I'm going to reach for my I'm telling you what the f I'm doing right now. I ain't doing shit. Larry, Larry, nothing. Nothing here. I mean, do you see what the f I'm going for right now, y'all? You don't see no offense to this? It's just really hungry. <laughs> uh, my keys are not in my ignition. I ain't driving nowhere. This ain't a mother. Uh, private property, like what the f do you want from me, really? <laughs> I am not doing it. That's Multiple times. Again. Thank you. It don't even need to be no problem for real. <laughs> like. How long ago did you drink those? Um, what do you mean? The beer uh, that's open right there, that's actually still got condensation. Um, but yeah, so like this is not even open. <laughs> so like, uh, this is like way close. And also my keys are not in my ignition. Like, what do you want from me? What is your keys in the ignition? After that? They're I mean? not. I am not driving anywhere. Like, what do you want from me? Okay, put the keys right there next to your leg. 42.99, Can I get my ID back? No, you can step out of the truck. She's 10 4, 10 6 7 1, 10 6 9 code no. 1. No, well, I'm not. I'm not stepping out of the truck. Don't I'm the not truck. doing anything nope. illegally. I'm, yep, you are detained. No. You are detained, no. and I'm doing a DUI investigation. So I'm asking mm. you to step out of the truck. Mm. You can step out of the truck and comply, or I can just no, pull you out of the truck my, and arrest you. Can I get my ID back? Nope, this is your last there. opportunity. Do you want to get out of the truck, yes or no? My keys are not in the okay. ignition. I am not Tristan? driving. Tristan? There is no need okay. for you to detain me. Literally just in the Tristan, is there, any, Tristan, is there right. anything I can say to make you comply and get out of the vehicle? There's no reason for okay. no so, is there, so you're not going to get out of the car? Can I get my ID back? No, you cannot get your ID back. I'm asking, is there anything I can I can say that will make you get out of the truck? What on earth are you 
I'm trying to arrest me for a lot. For real, where's your car? I'm not arresting you, you're detained. Are you insane? Like, I'm... Okay. Sir, I'm gonna be quiet. Like, I need all my stuff back. Alright, last need opportunity. To... Are you gonna exit the truck, yes or no? Alright, come on out. Come on out. Okay. Don't make this ours. Don't give me the keys. Come on out. For what reason? Don't touch, touch me. Are you come insane? Out. Come out or I pull you there out. Is no... Come out or I pull you out. Come on. Sir. Come out or I pull you out. Why? Just comply. Really? You're under arrest. Okay. You're under arrest. What? For what reason? Resisting and driving the influence. No one is Last driving opportunity. my Get keys are not Get in out. my ignition. Get out. Like, are you crazy? Like, Oh my god, I didn't even like... What? Put your arm behind your back. Wow. Oh, Go ahead and show me 1015 for a signal one or resisting without the 48. Alright, well, now we get that over with. I'm back to your butt. Alright, bring your leg in, your left leg. No, just your left leg. Bring that leg out. We're gonna get up. You're gonna get up on and meet up on this leg. On three. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna walk you over to my car. Yep. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. Come on. Oh, hey, excuse me. What the f are you gonna do with my goddamn car and all my sh is there anything out here about new weapons? Sit back here, because we're going to start right here in a minute. Yo, what you doing with my truck, bro? By who? Saint Augustine Toe. Yep. On what grounds? What the f you arresting me for? I am asking you a question. Why did you arrest me, sir? Want no goddamn keys on the motherfucking ignition? How the f I'm driving, huh? No, yeah, dumbass, big for real. I'm goddamn driving on the influence with no f keys in the ignition. How I'm driving? How I'm driving? Right. Huh? Oh, okay, yeah, all right, all right. What the f else you got, bitch? Shut the f up, for real. Yeah, for real. Shut the f up, you got nothing. Wasn't nobody goddamn driving? No goddamn keys in the ignition. What the f you really got somebody on for what? Nothing. Why you live a raggedy? Life, you gon' continue to live a ragged ass life. No, f you alive for nothing. Wasn't no goddamn keys in the ignition. Who the f would drive for real on the influence? For real? For real? For real? That's what you think you got for real? How the f keys are the ignition? How the f I drive for real? Huh? No. Okay. You're a little slick ass for real bullshit. Like, the f for real. Like, you know you f your whole goddamn life because you. Already arrested on some goddamn bullshit from the first. You do it for real, like really, really, really. You a young ass for real. You younger than, than me. And you talking about you got somebody on some driving under the influence? It wasn't in no goddamn fucking ignition. There was no keys in the ignition. How the fuck I'm driving? You wired me to fuck up. You for real. Good luck to you. It's your raggedy goddamn family for real that's why you is a whole ass for real no explanation no excuse no reason why the fuck you live a miserable life except that you dumb ugly and for real you should work for putnam county what the fuck? 
you doing out her? <laughs> you sure you don't work for a Putnam County, you raggedy ass for real? Stupid bitch for real. How the f you got somebody out driving under the influence? Nigga, put no goddamn keys in the ignition with nobody driving! You stupid for real! Hey, count the oh, put in the county ass. That's what the f don't cut him out of his face. Cut his chick the same too, cause he's doing for real. He ugly, he's stupid for real. Work for put in the county ass on St. John's County. You just gonna slam me out a goddamn car again? The f Go ahead, nobody get too f about you for real. Go ahead, bitch for real. What you said it was? What the name of the damn tow truck was? St. Augustine, some bullshit. You a whole shade for real. Don't rip a out of her goddamn truck. She sleep. That's what the f you do on your goddamn job. You holy ashamed, bitch. For real. 26, 27, you early for real. Yo, mama, yo, daddy, just piece of shit. What else? Huh? Oh, every you don't be with us slapped you up in your goddamn face because you ain't worse. Can't f got tiny. Huh? Really? You want to f with me? Bitch, you're not ripping out my goddamn truck. Stole my goddamn keys like I did a whole mother f anything. Give two false about you. No, I'm not talking to you. I don't give a f about you. Shut the f up. Leave me alone. I got nothing to say to you. Shut the f God, I'm not gonna goddamn care. Uh, eh, eh, shut the f up. Don't nobody give a f about you. Shut up. You, you rip me on my goddamn truck and rip me on my goddamn ride. Tell me the f I'm, I'm arrested for what? Halfway through the goddamn drive. Now you're reading my mail rights? For real. What the f you arrested me for? What reason? There was no even goddamn keys in the mother Ignition, really? I don't give a f Look, you in the pickle suit. I don't give a f what you saying right now. Go ahead with your little oh, uh, reading off a goddamn little old oh, two piece of shit, mother. Are you new? Are you new? Is that why you gotta read it off a mother old oh, cordage? Go ahead, you knew. We know you knew. And what? So the f what? And what? Go ahead. For real, you know you arrested me on some goddamn bullshit. You know the shit back to you like less than three to five years. Like, what? <laughs> For then your family gonna wonder, what happened to my little son? My little baby son like that, like, eh. Y'all, he will arrest little bitches on some dumb ass bullshit. That's it. Like, but you don't know the weight that it carry. Uh, what is, uh, 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 what? Historic Sheriff's Office, St. John's County. You work for Putnam County, get the f*** out of my goddamn face, for real. Really? No, I'm making this shit way worth it. You ripped me on my goddamn truck, slam me on my motherfucking face like you was a uh, half a goddamn b for real. You got me f***ing up, for real. Um, and you towed my shit for no goddamn reason. Hey, guess what? If you ever have a f***ing daughter, she gonna get raped by some nasty ass that she can't help her from. I like that. Little nigga for real. You ain't gonna have no kids because you is a ass. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What the f? You decided to arrest me for nothing. Nothing. There ain't that little pussy being for real. What you gonna do? Mother for real. For real. What you gonna do? Nothing. Little bitch for real. Little 23 year old self, what the f you gonna do? Huh? Nothing. Ass motherfucker for real. Bitch, don't let me get my goddamn hands on you for real. It's gonna be a karate chop in your goddamn eye and into your motherfucking throat. And then it's it for you for real. Do you think I give a f? For real, this little pussy ass. For real? No explanation, no goddamn reason for arresting somebody, you little bitch. For real. Sissy ass. Y'all are like, why do we always gotta deal with this guy? I'm like, you hired this f sissy motherfucker. I'm like, why on earth? Why? Little bitch got 90,000 goddamn gadgets on his motherfucking bill. Like, he uh, really own and run anything. Karen from the hood. 
Karen from the Valley and Deep South Karen decided to have a little too much fun and ended up with matching charges for DUI, resisting arrest peacefully, refusing a breathalyzer test, and having an open container. The judge gave them a 10-day jail sentence, tag team style, but something tells me that Karen from the Hood ended up serving the majority of the sentence. Moreover, they scored one year of probation and some community service hours to spice things up. And I told him to get out. He just kept pushing his way in, too. Okay. I just wanted to talk. You want me to okay, respect bye. you, but you're not letting me talk. You don't have to respect me. Next, we have a showdown over some unpaid rent cash. Our leading lady, an elderly woman, accuses her dumb Karen ex roomie of swiping $3,000 from her. And guess what? Karen didn't come alone. She's brought along a posse that includes a dude with a gun for dramatic effect. Things quickly escalate into a wrestling match featuring the Karen, her mom, because why not bring your mom to these things, and the elderly woman's granddaughter. It's chaos with a side of family bonding. Here's how things played out. Federal police! Hey, who has a gun? Hey, separate! Hey, who had the gun? Get away! Hey, stand right there! Come back here! Come back here! Come back here! Stay right there. She stole rent money. She saw my lease. And okay. She took my rent money. All right. Hey. Hey, I got my hands up anyway, so. Oh, hey, stay here. Hey, stay. Hey, enough for you to leave. Get out of the car now. Why? Get out of the car. Your hands up. Get out of the car. All right. Stay right there. Like I said, no, you're on camera. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm All not right. going to do anything. Like I said, I came All right, with I my see. rent money. Her mom attacked okay. me and so did her mom's boyfriend. All right. Well, and I'm trying to figure out the whole situation, and okay? And we are in a legal document okay. together. Hey, so stay on the car. I just wanted my rent money because we were on a lease together. A legal, a legal bonding lease. We were on a legal bonding lease. Her name was on the lease and I came here. Okay. To the person and the gun is inside, okay? Yes. Yeah. Did they threaten you with it? Yes. yes. They, they pulled it out. They pulled it out. Okay. And which... Like I was saying, when we came here, when we came here, uh, you need to tell them how sick your grandmother is. So, so they get medical attention. I don't know what other car they came pulled up. In on my door. Come outside. Come out. Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. Why are you taking her? I'm just getting her away from the scene. I'll take her down nope, here. Nope, they're right there. You can take her right there. Nope. Okay. Well. She was people with pants. Yes, she was hitting people with pants. She was hitting people with pants. That bitch was hitting people with pants. She's not the talking about. And then she ran off of Ridley. Were you in the picture? No, not at all. No, not at all. What did you guys see? My cousin in the red beat both of them. They fought. The grandma was hitting with pants. That's why she got her ass knocked out. No, she got her knocked out. My grandmother came out. In the living room, when she's a grandma, she goes, there's a bunch of people outside. Because she, she was a roommate to one of the girls. And I, I came out, and then the girl started hitting me. And she bit my finger. So the girl in the black tank shop, black Makeup tank? And a red bra underneath. Her hair is messy, and she's got black shorts on. She came in the f***ing house. This is your house. Yes, yes. yes. One, both, all you f***ing left that, you miserable ugly. I need to figure out what happened today. Okay, well, so today we came here just to ask for the money back. Okay. And instead of saying, hey, can we talk about this? Her mom immediately came out of the car okay. and hit me. Okay. Who? What does she look like? The mom is the, mom is the bigger yeah. one. With the, wait, wait, tell out, tell out. They look alike. Okay. She's her saying, name, do we know what she was wearing? Is, I don't know her name. Okay. So would you be willing? To be a victim and press yeah. charges. I want I want to sue her. She's on my lease. Okay. Is she a family I, member of yours at all whatsoever? I thought she was, but no, she's not. She's no not blood related relation? at all. Okay, gotcha. At this so, point, at this point, I want to press charges. And that car is one of them, the white car. The white car? Yes. Okay. And then the um, white guy come in with the black girl and he goes, Come on, Rebecca, you deserve this. And I told him to get out. I said, I have a grandson here. And, he just kept pushing his way in, too. Okay. Were there any weapons? I, I didn't see any. I, I really can't tell you. I just know what was going on on my porch. 
And my lady, I mean, the lady upstairs came down and was talking to them, and I don't know what they said to her. <laughs> uh, my grandson is five years old, but he's, he's going to be home soon. He's in daycare. Okay. We'll just keep you here, okay? So you said black bra, or sorry, red bra. Uh, uh, black tank top, a, a red bra, um, and black shorts. And she's tall. She's about five, eight. <laughs> And she was, you, they were all fighting outside? No, when my daughter, because I called my daughter, and my daughter come pulling in, and the girl jumped out of some car, and they, they attacked my daughter on the porch. That's when I opened the door, because I heard banging, and then the black girl uh, pushed my my daughter in the house, and it started punching her, and it, my, grand, my granddaughter came out, that's her mom, and she started punching on her, and we were trying to get her out, and I was trying to get in there to call the police, and then that, that girl started punching on me, on my head, and everything. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel well. I, I just was in the emergency room. I, my liver, I, I got a problem with my liver. And... Like I said, I would like to press legal charges. Absolutely. Because, again, we have a lease together. She knows where I live now. And now that her friends have pulled a gun out on me, I'm scared for my safety. I am a nurse. I have a lot more to lose than to do this. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot more to lose than to engage in violent activity. How does she steal her rent money? Does she, like, live? Like, how does that go about? They're on the same lease. Okay, so they took her money? She took her money, yeah. Hold on. She said she was here, so she came here. The mom and the boyfriend pulled up in the car, the mom jumped down and started swinging on her. So she whooped her ass, she whooped her ass, and the grandma got her ass knocked The grandma started hitting me, they started hitting me too, and then I started to fix my They dragged me in the house. Exactly, she started hitting us with the pants, then the man hit her, and then she's like, what? That's the man with the... With the gun, the man with the gun, he hit her, and then he pulled the gun out. Mama, I need to talk to you separately. The grandma got her ass with that and everybody's a crime that we are on a legal binding document together. Okay. Repay rent. She has not been in my home okay. since July. Uh, can you? Then turn off the chance my back right now. Okay? You're being detained. Why? Put your hands up, bro. Why am I being detained? Because you were <laughs> you're a suspect in all this. Okay. I don't know exactly how, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So you're not under arrest. Okay. You're just being detained. You can have your please. You have any weapons? Oh my God, no! I'm a nurse. I have a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I just got through working at Harborview. Like I said, I have a lot more to lose. No, no, they have all yeah. ill intent in that house. They have ill intent. Right. They were planning on. Sh okay. they obviously right now, you're actually detained. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, chill out. Chill out. It's okay. Chill out. You're I just know. detained right now. Okay. You're not. You did. Chill out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm a whole nurse. Are you serious? Four six after detained. What? Oh my god! I've never even been hit. Okay. While the officer was busy investigating, some dumb guy decided it was the perfect time to audition for a drama by jumping into the scene like he was ready for a showdown. You can't touch me like that. Grab my phone like that, bro. You're gonna get I'm wrapping up, but you can't. But I'm here with them. What, what do you mean? mean? With everyone here, what do you You're mean, bro? You're gonna go out there and stand up. Bro, outside? I was sitting there at a reasonable area. Why are you grabbing me? Because this is an what is area. Your, bro, what is your badge number, bro? Right What's your name, bro? I'm serious, bro. We're gonna end up arresting you. No, why are you arresting me? We're gonna end up. Why? Bro, don't you understand? Well, how are you gonna arrest me? Step. What am I doing please. wrong? I'm walking away. We're trying to de-escalate. Bro, my right is over here, so why are you pushing me this then side? Leave. You have the option to leave or stay. Bro, what do you mean I have to leave? Outside the area. I'm literally. This is all public area. You cannot push oh, me anywhere. Sorry. You can, though. Why are you guys really doing the most right now? Because this is an investigation. You can't touch me or Look. nothing. You can't Look. touch you. Why? What did I just tell you? Why? Step away or you're going to get my I'm not step. doing nothing wrong. Yeah. I'm from a reasonable distance and you're attacking me right Look. now. Hey, look, you got, look, you now guys are coming up with right now. No, no, look, you talk to me. Hold on, hey. hey. We feel like we speak the same language, right? Right. You have two options, okay? Chill out over here, away from the scene, okay? Well, let's see. I, we're going to arrest you for obstruction. You, how am yes, I obstructing I'm the scene? I'm speaking your language, bro. But how am I obstructing I'm the saying, scene? Can I ask because that? Because you're just being too close. This is how? a crime scene. I was literally at least, at least 20 look, yards away. At, you at least. Look, from an officer with yeah, yeah. any type of weapon, you're, you're, and you guys keep walking but, up hey, to me. But now, but now, 
We just need you to like, just. Bro, I'm really trying to make sure I'm recording for her safety, bro. Because we, we are recording. Bro. We have more cameras. Bro, bro, I want, I want your I name and my name, bro. Hey, bro. Hey. Hey. I didn't even do nothing wrong, bro. Just relax. I didn't even do nothing wrong, bro. You refused to leave. I didn't refuse Several to leave. verbal I commands. Did you, Lawful commands. All right, bro. I'm on a public All right, right, bro. Now. All right. Well, now I you're going to get arrested. None of this is fighting. Right. Fighting courts. Like, That's where you get to fight. Where, right. Right. where am I going? Hey, hold it. Where am I going? Ma'am, do you remember who hit you today? Yeah. You'd, you'd remember the mechanism? Name. Okay, I, I but, but you'd be able to recognize her? Okay. So right now, we have somebody detained in handcuffs, okay? Just because they're surrounded by police and just because they're in handcuffs doesn't mean that is the person, okay? Okay. It's just as important to know if it's not the person as if it is, okay? okay. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to put you in the back of this car. Okay. We're going to have you, we're going to drive by that person. Okay. I just need you to tell this officer yes or no, that is the person. Okay. And then we're going to take you down the road a little bit so the fire department can check you out, okay? Okay. All, All right. right. We'll help you out. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I'll just explain it real quick, okay? So I'll have you look out the window, and I want you to just say yes or no if that's the person you recognize, okay? Look at the car? Yeah, look at the car. That is positive. One William 32, positive identification. Let's get her out of here. Uh, so what? Just... Hold on, can you say what's going on? So you guys... Hold on, hold on. How is it assault if someone touched you first? So listen, I need a question. Oh. No, you guys keep trying to tell me I just assaulted somebody. Look at me, look at me. How look am I me. assaulting someone? I would like to get your statement. Okay? But you guys are arresting me. He just, he didn't say that I was, he didn't say that I was getting arrested. He just right said now, I was just hanged. I need you to chill you out for me. Got... Otherwise, we're just going to have to look. put you in the car. You understand? Walk with me to the car so we can talk about what happened. Sure. Wait, do you have gas? Go right here. Huh? No, get it off this number, bro. I need someone to pick up the money. This is Bro, keep that highlight. Bro, this is dumb as Bro, this is going to touch me and every body in their family. And you guys want to sit here and arrest me? The f I did not touch nobody until they touched me. All three of them. All three of them touched me. The f and I'm supposed to sit there and just let them go. That's crazy. That's crazy. So when are you guys gonna get my statements? I don't know. What do you mean who's you don't who's know? Who's this? I'm not finding you. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read your Miranda rights, okay? I want you to you get my statement to... first. Okay, I'm gonna read no, you first. No, I want you. I, gotta to, read I you. want you to get my statement. Okay, listen, first. you can talk to me after this. Let me read this to you first. <laughs> you you have the rights to remain okay. silent. You have the, anything you say you can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to you have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Do you understand them? No. You don't? No. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Yes. But I need you to understand your rights. Yes, first. I, sure. I understand. You understand them? Okay. So can I talk to you guys, or you guys just gonna close the door and act I'm, like I didn't? I have talk? the door open. I'm trying to make you talk. Give me your side of story. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. One second. Okay, but my question is, why am I arrested? Well, let me ask you, what what what's the definition of assault? That's something that your lawyers can explain to you. you no, but you guys are you guys just said I could talk to you. So how? What is the definition of assault? You should know that, right? In your position. What's the definition of a law? It's not a legal it's a question. It's not a it's not legal advice, it's a question. I'm asking a question. Okay, so you, what's your name? Two and thirty two. That's why I just asked you. I asked you if I'm gonna be able to talk to you and you just told yes. me. And right now I told you. You just told me you're not talking to you. You just told me I can't talk to you. You just told me I was not talking to you. Thank you. You guys want people to be respectful to you, but she was not disrespectful. So I would excuse me, Mr. Lee. I just have a quick question. What is the definition of assault? What is the definition of assault? Any unwanted touching. Okay. Is that the full definition? No, but that's part of it. But I want what what happened to your Can I can I ask, can I talk to you? Because they keep saying I would he literally just said I was able to talk to him and he just walked away. So that's Okay, did they read you your rights yet? The mother came out the car and started hitting me. Okay. Not once did I touch that lady. Who's, who's, the, who's as, the mother? I don't know her name. I don't know her. The only person I know here is the one right there that I can see through the trees. I don't know the mom, which is why when she got out the car saying, who's this who are these blah, blah, what's the problem? I, she, she came up to me. 
try to hit us. What's your, who are you? Who are you? I'm not touching nobody because I don't even know who you are. Who are you? You're trying to get at me. You're trying to hit me. Her man is trying to stop her. Talking, he's talking mess as well, but he's also trying to stop her from hitting any of us. So he's trying to stop her. Where, where is he at? I don't know. He's the one that had the gun. But, the gun? Okay. Yeah, that's the same person that had the gun. That was the only man here. Okay. <laughs> and so he's trying to stop the lady. I'm like, who are you? I'm her mom. I'm her mom. I'm her mom. Okay? That's understandable, but where's your daughter? She's the one that said that she had the money. She had the $3,000. Every person so, that... Let me, let me explain to you, sir. We were all calm. Her mother pulled up yelling, screaming, saying she wants to fight and da 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 Okay? Who are you? Like I said, we didn't know who her mother is. Renee just met her mother a couple years ago. We don't know who that is. So when she comes up trying to fight us, I'm not touching you, I don't know who you are. Okay? She's, that's my daughter, that's my daughter. Okay, cool. She's, blah, 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 blah. Open the door. Blah, 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 blah. Renee, come outside. Da, 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 da. Come outside. I don't even know what she was saying. She was just yelling. Come outside. And then she pushes me. I tell her, do not touch me. Do not touch me. She pushes me again. Do not touch me. Then she stops me in my face. That's when I touch her. As she stops me in my face, her grandmother opens the door and the grandmother starts hitting me too. So two people now are on me after I didn't even touch the mom. I did not touch the mom outside yet. The grandma didn't open the door. So how am I getting arrested for assault? How am I getting arrested for assault? Mind you, I'm trying to get up all three of them now because once they pulled me into their house, they're all three women are jumping me. I'm trying to get up. Why are you still hitting me? Why are you still putting your hands on me? Yes, I understand that I defended myself. Not once did I hit either one of them first. Not once did I touch anybody first for it to be assault. Unwarranted hitting is assault. I did not touch anyone unwarranted. I touched every single person out of defense for myself. Not once did I touch that man with the gun. He touched me. Not once did I touch... I don't even know. That's the thing. The only people that I knew that were on me was the grandma, the mom, and the man. I don't know anybody else but the man that was involved. Like, we all came here just to talk. I just wanted to talk to her. I've been best friends did with you, her for you, 11 did you years. Did fight back at all? No. No, I got hit. Okay. I got hit. How could I fight back to a man? I got hit by a man. So... PC for okay, it's DV because they're former roommates. So let's get her out of here and let's question her someplace else that's not right here. Okay, okay perfect. Okay, so uh, she's under arrest at this point. She's under arrest at this point for okay. like, assault four. Okay, at this point, we gotta figure out if there's more to it. Okay, but I definitely want to finish up with her statement. I just don't want to do it here. There's too many. There's too many moving parts here. Okay, okay. let's go ahead and up. So this time you're under arrest, okay? I'm under arrest. Yes, so we're gonna this walk is horrible. How am I under arrest? We'll stay right there. Please do not start fighting us, okay? This is horrible. Okay. Let's go ahead and, we're gonna go in the back seat, okay? I have so much to lose. Okay. Just because you're under arrest doesn't mean you're convicted of a crime. This is horrible. I've never been arrested. Okay. I've never been arrested. Okay. I'm do literally like... Do you have anything on your person? You're no, I don't. Okay. So I'm just doing a search of your person. No, person, right? I don't have anything on me. I don't have anything okay, on we me. We have to search. That. It's, uh, it's, it's policy that we search you, sir. I didn't come in here with ill intent. I just wanted to talk. All right, go ahead and face the car. I just wanted face to talk. Right, I understand it's frustrating. Go ahead and kick one of your legs out for me. One of your chance. All right, go ahead and have a seat. I'll put the window down, I'll do everything I can I'm to make I'm very it. claustrophobic. I, I am very, so and I is, have asthma. There is no seriously, I'm not asthma. making this up. Like, seriously. Okay. We will do everything we can to make you comfy. But I've never can. been arrested ever a day in my life. It will this help. is not fair. It will help if you just take a breath. I, oh my god. Wait, what? Isn't the person that hit me arrested? The what, The grown I, woman. She might be, I don't know. I'm she's not, I'm you. looking, and she's not in handcuffs, and she's the one yes, that attacked me. Okay. So the grandma's not getting her, they all touched me first. I'm genuinely confused. I don't know, do you live here or not? What? No, why would I live here? So how did you get inside? I, they pulled me, I'm telling, I'm not even trying to be right. um, Can you take your feet in? I'm going to bucket you up. Bro, that's, I, you guys, I just, and what's crazy is you guys keep telling me I'm going to be able to talk and you're not letting me talk. We're going to talk at the that's station. That's crazy. We're moving yeah. to the station, yeah. But why, bro, this makes no Can you put no your feet sense. in, please? This makes no sense, though. Like it makes no you put sense, your feet in? but it makes no sense. You guys You're are gonna be able to talk to me at the station. So why did you just why did you just get my whole uh, name, 
all that well, birthday. I still, have it. I still but need I, it. I understand that. Okay. But you. Well, I was told by my supervisor I'm going to interview times, down there, okay? Okay, but you most Can you put you your. I, I know I did, but that was before I was. Talk. How is this respect? You want me to okay, respect you, but you're not letting me talk. You don't have to respect me. What? But you got did you did you guys not say this would go smoothly if I respect you? So you're saying that I could disrespect you. You can go ahead good. if you want. I really don't care. Honestly. So you're saying I can you put your feet in the damn you car? You put your feet in the car. No, don't talk to me. Like put that. your feet in the car. Don't talk to me. Like that. Don't talk to me like that. Thank you. Don't talk to me like that. It makes it easier. Thank you. I told you to put your feet in. Okay, so don't talk to me like okay. that. Okay, I've asked you multiple times. Okay, don't talk to me like okay, that. Okay, can you please put your feet in? I just told you don't. Okay. What the hell? Can you just please so I can buckle you in, please? Oh, is... I need to make sure before I. Gosh, dang it, guys. Oh. Oh. I, 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 my hand is Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. And the girl that breaks, what is she? What is she? So this is DV Bird. And then me get arrested. And these are just. Bro, that's stupid. It's on God. That's dumb. It's bro. You guys don't know how to do it. Keep it you get it. No, you don't get it. You don't. You don't. I don't want your foot to get you hurt. You don't. You don't get it. You don't. The crew found themselves in a bit of legal hot water. The woman in black, who apparently thought breaking and entering was a fun pastime, got slapped with a burglary charge for barging into an elderly lady's house. She also earned herself an assault charge. Quite the overachiever. Meanwhile, Mr. Obstruction, who wanted a closer look, was busy being obstructive and, as we saw, was arrested. Then we have the woman in red sweatpants, who took her fashion statement to the next level by adding a domestic violence assault charge for giving her roommate a not-so-friendly tap. And let's not forget about our elusive male suspect who allegedly waved around a gun, like it was show-and-tell, before pulling off the ultimate disappearing act when the cops showed up. Honestly. I'm starting to think he's just an urban legend. We've all faced those moments when our wallets felt a little too light, prompting us to hustle for extra shifts or part with some household treasures just to keep the lights on. But one dumb Karen, who had been slinging sandwiches at Subway for eight long years, opted for a more creative solution. Deciding her paycheck needed a bit of a boost, she concocted a master plan to snag some extra cash. Initially, she figured swiping $20 every now and then was no biggie. But as her appetite for cash grew, so did her audacity, eventually making off with a whopping $20,000 from her job. Let's dive into how this daring escapade unfolded for this incredibly stupid Karen. As soon as the officers showed up, they asked Karen for her ID, and her boss chimed in, asking for the store keys. Karen put on her best what on earth is going on face, trying to act clueless. But they weren't buying it and swiftly reminded her that this wasn't a game of charades. You know, I have a daughter that's Annabelle, care of. Please don't send me to jail. Annabelle. You can get Bus rid of I'm me. I'm not saying nothing. Busman, give me, give me we, a few minutes. Yes. We have evidence for three years. Three, three years? No. Are you out of your mind? Okay. So, okay. right now, um, you are going to get arrested. I need to speak to you because this has been going on for a while. Completely up to you if you want to speak to me or not. Okay, but I, I... Hold on, let me finish. If you do want to speak to me and you have an explanation for whatever it is that you may have done, I'm going to read you your rights and we'll go from there. Just to get kind of like a baseline, if you, this is kind of like a good chance that you get to explain something before you go. Okay, can, you, I, can I just ask... Please, I don't know how to 
Okay, listen. My daughter after school. That's that's. We will talk about that later too. We'll have you have been later. told for last year. I reminded you corporate on the watch. Before that, I explained you corporate is on the watch. Please do not do one minute catching. I have evidence and piles and piles and piles and piles of evidence with detailed note and corporate is this is me right now corporate is coming after me for you okay. Okay, oh, that's all i have to say Mr. not send me to jail Mr. for Mr. my Benson. daughter you i have you've been told else. before Mr. I have nobody else i no. excuse me i told you you had a past record i worked my I worked hard for six years to drag you out of that. You had all whatever felonies you have. You did not listen. I gave you my store keys. I trusted you. And guess what? You robbed me for over and over no, and no, over. I, I have. Not he's, he's, Mr. You've Mr. been okay. recorded now. Enough, enough, enough. Okay. You've been recorded. Step out, step out. I'm, I'm Just so you know, you've been recorded. No matter what happened, I, I have a, a five-year-old dog, seven-year-old daughter okay. that needs to be picked up, and I have nobody else. Okay. No Regardless problem. of what happened, I don't know how. Okay. Can so we you... resolve this away without taking me to jail? Uh, unfortunately, it's not up to me. Okay. I'm only it up to? It's up to him. Okay. Yeah. So there is a lot that we need to talk about. Okay. All right. And I cannot force you to talk to me. We can have a conversation. Maybe get a better understanding why this happened, if you want to. But I have to read you right. Okay. Simple because I'm gonna be asking questions. All right. All right. So. The first right you have is you have the right to remain silent and not answer any, any questions. Number, number two, any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. Number three, you have the right to the presence and representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statements and during any question. Number four, if you cannot afford a lawyer, you are entitled to the presence and representation of a court appointed lawyer before you make any statements. And during any question, number five, if, you, if at any time during the interview you do not wish, you do not wish to answer any of the questions, you are privileged to remain silent. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Do you want to speak to me? I have never like intentionally done anything wrong to hurt you. Mr. Vincenzo, I need you to step out, please. We cannot do this back and forth thing. If you're gonna keep doing this, then I cannot do an interview. I, I, I don't know what he's talking about, like for three years and stuff. Okay. No, I just, I have... How long, yeah. how long to the best of your record? Steal. I don't feel like I've been stealing. You don't feel like you've been stealing. So what exactly do you feel like I feel like, like he treats doing? us very unfairly. Okay. What is... All of us. What is like, unfairly to you? I, like, there's one girl's been working here six years. She still makes minimum wage. Like, he, like... He doesn't give us any appreciation, and I've been here a long time, mm -hmm. and I, I know I, I don't mean to sound come off, you know, like as excuses and anything, but he's a hard man to work for. Right. And I've never, I never like intentionally meant to like, I never like, in my mind like stole anything. Okay. I just feel like we're all treated so unfairly, right. and. So what? I mean, that's what, that what do you think happened when you're pocketing money, or when you're taking money from the register, or when you're not bringing stuff up, and then I, later on I adjusting understand. it? I understand. It, it wasn't a lot. Okay. And so, I didn't mean. I I know that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's fair. So just to get a time frame, listen. It's a lot. It's a lot of video. It's a lot that you have been done, and you know it. And I am not but judging I you by. Been it. Doing Hold that on, for let me. Years. I understand. I understand. It might not be for years, but it's been going on for months. Okay. So approximately, best regulation is I'm not trying to, for you to snitch on yourself. 
but to the best of your recollection, if you can pinpoint how long ago this started happening. Months. Months. Before Christmas of last year? Or around After. Christmas? After. After Christmas? Yeah. So like the beginning of this year? Yeah, if, yeah. Okay, beginning of this year. Like I mean, January, you think, I've been maybe? here eight years. I've, I'm not that type of person. I'm just not. Right. And so, you always kept the same schedule, correct? Yeah. All right. So it's Tuesday to what day? Saturday. What do you mean? Tuesday to Saturday. Tuesday work. work. Um, yeah. Tuesday to Saturday, yes. from eight to three p.m. Two thirty. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. If you started taking money, what was the initial amount that you were taking? That you can recall. A couple dollars. What, here a couple dollars there. is what? Like, like two dollars? Yeah, like two five dollars. dollars. Five dollars. Just started with five dollars. Yeah, I mean. Was it every day back then in January? No. No. I when mean, did it become every day? I think I wouldn't say every day. I mean, it was a dollar here, two or or here, here and there. You know, when it's like in the tip jar. What are we only like talking a, about? A dollar a month. It's like, one dollar, two dollars. I didn't take like twenties and big amounts. I didn't. Nobody mentioned twenties, but you did take twenties. No, I would go and get change a lot. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm, I'm trying. I understand. For you to tell me a little bit. To help me out, help yourself out. I know. I'm trying, but I didn't like steal a lot. Like at a time, it was little amounts, okay. and it was. So kind of we're so now basically in June. So basically, a six-month period, correct? All right. Let's say if you were taking five dollars per day, ten dollars per day, twenty dollars. Adds up. Okay. How much do you think you have stolen from the store in total? Not a lot. Not a lot? Very no. Now, whenever there's a cash transaction, I'm just looking at the patterns here. It seems to me like whenever there's a cash transaction, you don't rank up the cash transactions. You either ring it up, you cancel it, you don't ring it up, you, leave, you put the money in, you buy change, you split that amount, into the tip jar, you take some cash then, or a combination of both, or later on you come back and take cash. So, it's a lot. Maybe I didn't realize. I, I don't mean, I, I didn't think I was doing it at all. It's been every day for the past, at least for the past month. Not that it makes a difference, What's that? but it, I mean, I don't take a lot at a time. Okay. And I, I know that doesn't make a difference. So, a day. But how, over time, it. Happens. How much do you take a day? $10. Ten dollars? $10? Yeah, but, yeah. You know, please, can we handle this without actually arresting me? I've done so much for you, too. Did you give him his key back? You know, please don't do this to me. I don't know how to pick up my daughter. It's my daughter. That's what I'm worried about. You were told, you were told many times, what you have done is uh, enough damage to me. It's, I, all, it's totally 19,000 plus. No, Just, is it? There is no, a corporate will come for after you and I, this is my first Can we handle this with a court date or please, something? Please, please, please have my keys and I gotta go. Please, gotta go. you know, I'm begging you, I don't know what to do about my daughter. I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. Please. Should I thought about that before. I didn't mean to hurt you, Tina. I am, I am 100% honestly sorry. Yeah. I'm trying, but you're keeping her open, so. Step outside, I'll get you. Are you okay? You want you want an ambulance? Huh? No. Can you no. breathe? I don't know how I'm gonna pick up my daughter. I have nobody else. I mean, I will leave. I will handle it in court. I will do whatever needs to be done. You know, I'm begging you. Please don't. No. This is not my call. This is law and order. 
Not my he fault. said it was up to you if I if we can handle it differently. Please, you know I've shown up every day for you for eight years, and this has just started recently, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart. My daughter, I have, I can't do this to my daughter. Please, Tino. Can't we handle this a different way besides sending me to jail? Officer, you do what you have to do. I, I cannot be interrupted. Only I get interrupted if I get interrupted now. Would it's you, not. would you allow me to not go to jail and we can handle it with some other kind of me? <laughs> Tino, I've done so much too for you. I've been loyal to you. And I apologize. Loyal to you? How? Mr. Vincenya, you pick up your stuff and go, or yes. I'm going to have to... No, you, you take care of it. Okay, let's go. Know, please this don't is not, send me to jail. I don't know what to do with Thank my you. daughter or anything. I'm begging you, Tino. I will go to court and pay it all back. Yeah, come get for this. Tino, please. Oh, my God. I don't think we can. I don't think it could be an agreement for you to repay all this money back. I don't. I don't know what besides you about. What's that? I just. I'm concerned about picking up my daughter from. No, I don't have any. From where? Else. From Boys and Girls Club, where she's at, and she's also she's already going through all this anxiety and stuff. And she, I got nobody to watch her, nobody. I mean, it's just me and her, and I don't know how else. To, isn't there any way we could somehow handle it without taking me to jail? I'm sorry. I don't even have anyone there. Help me. How long would I have to stay in jail for? Like, can I... You can go out. How long does that take? Hours. Okay. So, let me ask you this last question. Throughout the time that you've been here, you think you stole more than $750? I don't think so. You don't think so? I guess I have. I, I guess I... I don't think... I think some of the times when you see me taking 20s, it was exchanging money. Okay. So I don't... I didn't think... The exchange, I was, the exchange does happen. The problem is you're not putting in what you're taking out. So that's not an no, exchange. No worries. How is that an no. exchange? But I, I take... I do. I, I know. But I don't take... You know... Though. You know your, you know the game you're playing. I just don't know how to handle this. Okay. All right. My daughter, right? Isn't there a way we can handle this out of jail? I'm sorry. Again. If he knows that so, but I've been able to. Yeah, I asked him many times. I can't believe he's doing this. This is what I, I mean, I, I understand the issue. This is what I mean. He treats us all so badly. All of us. And honestly, I, I told him I was going to start looking for another job because all of us feel so walked all over by him. And I understand that's no, that's no, you know. It's a hospital. I'm going to have an anxiety attack. Okay. What's an anxiety attack? Just where I don't know what to does do. It, does I'm it panicking. allow you to breathe? I, I does, mean, I'm do you breathing, faint? but... Do you faint? Do you feel like you're going to pass out? I, I don't know. Do you want to get checked out? I don't know what to do. You're only delaying it by doing that, but I can get you. I know. I don't want to delay it. All right. like, can do I, you want I an ambulance? take one of my medications. I can't allow you to take any meds because I don't know what they are. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to start doing all of this. Yes, take it. Yes or no because I don't know. I know, but then I'm going to go in the... All right, let me get you an ambulance. Because I take that. Keep your bubble 16. 
I, I, I'm just like boggled. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to take care of my daughter. I don't know. I'm going to try to ask her. But my daughter is going to be traumatized. It is what I'm really, really worried about. She's going to be afraid that, like I said, she just lost her father to cancer unexpectedly. We didn't know he had it. And he went into the hospital and didn't come out. And I don't want her to. I'm already having problems with her. She's, I mean, bad, bad problems. Tino, can I please talk to you for a minute? So that's why I asked you, you give me an estimate how much you think you've stolen. Not, not nowhere near that. Then how much? A few, a couple hundred over six months. I would take like $20 a day. $20 a day? Or so, yeah. I mean, I know that's not correct. I mean, that's not the right thing to do, but I did not steal $19,000. Listen, that's what he's in a claim. So that's why I'm asking that's you. That's the way he does things. He's the most rotten person I've ever met. I can't believe he's doing this to me right now. Um, okay, so obviously you know your fire's clear. Yes. And yours will be a trespass for you. Subway. I don't know if Subway has to do anything with Walmart. Are very very expensive. I don't want to lose this. Please put it in my purse somewhere. Just hang out here with her. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. We go to the station. Oh wait, I have to get air out to go. Okay, I'm going to step up. I mean, I'm sorry, Rosa, I don't know. I'm also just saying that you're pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. How far along are you? A month. A month or two. A month or two? Okay. Did you go to the doctor yet? I had my appointments on Monday. Okay. How many sticks did you pee on? A couple. <laughs> <laughs> it's real hard to believe, huh? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Is this your first? No. Oh, okay. Well, then you Yeah. Know. All right, so I'm just going to pat you down. Part of is there anything on your person I should know about? No guns, knives, weapons of mass destruction. I'll try to hide in your pocket, anything. They'll cut me, gross me, I'll stick me up, and I have to go home. Yeah, but I want to go home. <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pat you down out here. Karen found herself in the slammer, but managed to bail out a few days later. Charged with grand theft, she decided to roll the dice and take her case to trial. The evidence against her was more solid than a brick wall, with over 100 hours of video showing her swiping cash daily for six months straight. Her sticky fingers racked up nearly $21,000 in loot. In the end, the judge sent her on an all-expenses-paid two-year vacation to a Florida prison. You're really going to put me in jail, bro? Go home, bro. Please go home, bro. You're doing this. Perfect, I just want my you husband and my daughter to look, you wasn't having no family. My mother's dead. My dad killed my mother when I was 12 years old. I'm but listen to me. I don't have On July 25th, 2022, the police were summoned to a house after receiving a tip-off about a dumb Karen who decided to surprise her ex-boyfriend with an uninvited visit, complete with a side of threats. Naturally, the cops were called in, and that's when Karen went full drama mode ignoring their polite requests and turning it into an impromptu wrestling match. Here's how things played out. Hey, 
what's going on? What's going on? Okay. My son's ex girlfriend. Okay. I've said I've kicked her out of here twice mm -hmm. because she. That's who was arguing about. Yes. I, I have my pistol on me too, okay. just in case. She she came. Who oh, she's here. back there with? My son. Okay. She you came over here go? unannounced. They've been ordering. We, we, we go come. We go come. First, you're going to come talk to me, so stand up and come talk with me. You're really going to put me in jail, bro? Hey, you yeah, you're really going to put me in jail? I, I'm you're not going to go to jail if you listen to what we're telling you, but if you keep refusing right. to come speak with us, watch out. That, that's the people. Don't need that still over here. Please Look, you guys. Get up. Mama. Chance, you got, you got two chances. You're about to be in handcuff. Three. You're about come to be in handcuff. Come on, bro. Please, please, please stand up. Please, 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 Stop resisting. Put Stop your hand on your back now. Put your hand on your back before you get tased. Put your, ma'am, put your hand. I'm stuck. He's on top of me. I can't get it out. Okay. I'm not on top put of you. Put your hand back. Stay like that. Okay, hold on. You got no family, bro. This is the fuck. You're doing this. Perfect, bro. That's why you got me because you know I ain't got no family. Look, ma'am, turn on all your butt. Take me out of here, bro, because you know I ain't got the Sit up. This is the time you've done this to me. Sit up. Look, the one stupid thing that I said to you. Listen to me, boo. You wasn't going to go to jail. We wanted you to speak with us. I just want my husband to come home. I just want my husband that. and my daughter to but come home. Look, you wasn't going to jail. Now you are. Okay? You know I ain't got family out here to come and help me. Thank you. Did she have one, you know? No, who's gonna get me out of jail, huh? He didn't put you in jail. Now you gonna keep my daughter. No, I can't even give her a hug or a kiss. All I wanted to do was give her a hug and a kiss, and I was gonna leave. All I wanted to do was give her a hug and a kiss, though. you got what you want. Remember what I told you. You got what you want, John. You got it. You got it, champ. Give my little girl kissing me. You tell her mom loves her, bro. You keep cursing, you're going to go to jail for even more. Now, you have the right to remain silent. And you can say can and will be used against in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. And if you cannot afford one, we won't be appointed to represent you. Anytime you wish to have any statements answering questions, you do not have to. You got something in the front pocket. What's your name? <laughs> hey, what's your name? <laughs> what? Hey, what's your name? DeAndre. DeAndre what? Do you have an ID somewhere in the car or something like that? Have a seat in the car. Which one heard vehicle? 10667083. Okay. Repeating 10667083. Chance, hey there, white male. So she just came over here basically? Well, I, I left her. Because... Mm -hmm. Because we was going to barbecue today, and I started cutting my hair, and she freaked out because I was cutting my hair. Mm -hmm. And, then, you know, that's one of my partners that lives right down the street. I've been known to do my whole life, grew up selling dope, and he was at the and now he's a foreman for the rigging. That's a big thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't a goddamn angel my whole life. You know, I like, I like seeing my people yeah. do the damn thing, you know, because I'm trying to do it myself. Yeah. And I was going to a barbecue, and I meant a lot. You know, I never get invited nowhere. I don't. And I started cutting my hair, and she freaked out. And what she did, she said, "Well, I ain't got nothing to wear because my little daughter was looking beautiful, and I cut my hair, and and, and she feels like she didn't want looking pretty enough, and she." She's been drinking. Copy of mm -hmm. to she been drinking. She's on anything. No. Ten seventy one. Just her, bro. So basically, she just nope, came here to warn you Texas. back. November Juliet okay. Zulu 9604, well, being Texas. She's been charged with serving the piece of resistance for the office of two counts. All she had to do was come talk to us. I know, I tried to send her on her way. I tried oh, to tell her. I mean, yeah, and that's why I had to get to that point. Oh, I know. I know. Sorry. I know. I know. That's why I couldn't look. I knew. But look, you. this is your mom's residence? Yeah. Okay, you live here? Well, I do now, yeah. Okay. 
Well, because it's your mama's residence, she don't want her back over here. Oh, I know. She got a charge on her already. She already got a... She destroyed her house before. Okay. So she didn't. So she didn't destroy nothing, break anything for her hands. Headquarters for Lucky Street, 1012. Puppy. Hey, puppy. Come on, Jess. Okay, okay. Let's verify first. Come on, take your time. I got all day. I understand. I'm gonna talk to you in a second. Just get that first, and we'll talk. How did, a fe How did the female get here? Somewhere in the dark from the hotel. I think. I have a May a bit. Um, okay, so has she previously been banned from here before? Like, what, did she know that she was not supposed to come back yes. over here? Yes. Okay. When? About when was that done? Oh, gosh. Uh, the last time, the, the, they can't pick her up and go to a shelter in Homa. Um, Ain't a big, uh, I don't really this know. year, months ago, years ago? Probably last year. Okay, cool. So, But she knew that she was not supposed yes. to be here. Okay, so right now she's going to go to jail for trespassing, including uh, resistance from an officer with force of violence. Because uh, we just had to fight her in the back. Um, and disturbing the peace. Yeah, disturbing the peace by loud and abusive language also. Yeah. Um, give me one sec. Sure. Let me look at something real quick. Now, um, she's also uh, Detective Lemon. Mm-hmm. Is, was looking for her because she stole almost a thousand dollars out of my. I'm gonna contact her and uh, okay. let her know because we I didn't know where she was. Gotcha. So this might clean that up because she took it out of my bank account. She had a card or anything. My son had my information. She took it okay. from him, and when she left him, the last time, she took all that and even gave some to her friend and all this gotcha. stuff. And that was like in March. I'll connect. Oh, uh, I'll get what she want. Don't want it. Mm -hmm. All right, man. She's going to jail. Uh, we're gonna take care of it. If y'all need anything else, just call us and let us know. But she's gonna be in jail, okay? Okay. Cool. Uh, I already told the other deputy about Shawanda. I heard. Yeah, I heard everything. So we are gonna call her as soon as we leave here and uh, see what she needs with her. So we know where to find her now. Yes. Thank y'all so much. No problem. It's funny how they're not gonna accept that. That was when every with his truck. That's and on the them. The parrots picked him up. That's on them, though. I sunk that has nothing to do with us. We try it. Or he can get away with fucking How do you spell your first name? So it's D E A N D R E. Uh, I'm not 100% sure because of the weekend. But as soon as we get there, get paperwork rolling. And shouldn't be, but you never know. Um, oh, resisting an officer, a force of violence, two counts of that, disturbing the peace, and because you were already banned from that place per the mom. Nobody told me that. I was just there yesterday with him and his mama. It didn't seem like there was no problem with that. All right, chill out. She just had me there yesterday. I understand, but I mean, uh -huh. think about it, if you would have just came talk to us, you I would. I did just came, I mean, like, but. What? Even if I would have just talked to y'all guys, I would have still been removed from the premises and he still would have kept my daughter. But look. Wouldn't have had my family. But listen, my little girl. we don't, we don't. He wouldn't even let me hug or kiss my child. My child? The child that I gave birth to and I couldn't even kiss her or hug her? You know how f that is? It is up. The fact that we had to put, go hands on with you when all you had to do was just turn around. I would have let you. No problem, tell your daughter about I wouldn't even let her I see you. I shouldn't have to tell my daughter. No, you shouldn't, but you, being with that dude is toxic. You need to go find something and get full custody of her. How am I going to do that? I don't have no job. I don't have no money. But that, your daughter. I don't have no family. My mother is my dad. When I was 12 years old, I'm by but listen to me. I don't have shit. But my daughter and that Exactly, man. and your daughter should be your drive to do what you have to do where you can get her. That should be, that should be, that should be everything. That should be your drive. And you can do it. It's never too late to do it. Ever. They got organizations that, you know, help people like that. Really? Because I've tried and then they were qualified for that. I've you, tried hey, and I've tried. You just got to keep putting the faith. You can't be negative. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but you can. You got to keep pushing for your little girl. I can tell you really love her. I know that. You're a mom. You just got it. You can see her again. You can't be like that. 
Oh, watch it. You can stay saying no. Okay, you can stay saying no. Alright, lots of water. This incredibly dumb Karen got herself into quite the predicament, facing two charges for giving the cops a hard time with a side of felony violence and causing a ruckus in the neighborhood, legally known as resisting an officer with force or violence, which is a felony and disturbing the peace. <laughs> 